Down, I want to turn to you. Absolutely. I want to talk about teen suicides post-pandemic. They're surging. Yes, I mean, the numbers really are staggering. The Department, North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services has been working on this. Uh, right now, uh, suicide is the second leading cause of death in North Carolinians, zero to 18 years old. It's the third leading cause, folks 18 to 34. This is a huge, huge problem in North Carolina and really across the country. Uh, it surged during the pandemic. Uh, there are 11,000 emergency room visits every year by attempted suicide and, you know, 3,000 hospitalizations. This is a really big problem that I really could call my underreported because I feel like I'm not seeing as much focus as it really needs to be. DHHS is, a, is setting up an office to really study this, figure out how to intervene, how to provide services and training down at the community level to head this off. But there are more studies coming out, too, that show that the relationship between a student and a parent has a huge impact in how they perceive themselves, how they perceive their future opportunities. So it really needs to be at every level that we're intervening. But one of the good things, one of the really, um, you know, positive movements that's happening in this. UNC Chapel Hill was just uh, given a gift by a family who lost two children to suicide, $25 million to set up an institute to study it.